Hmm, wonder what I could get with a dollar. No, nope, too much. No, that's too much too. Maybe, but probably not. A record album? I can get a record album for a dollar? What? Hey everybody, it's Mama J. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, I have some record albums that I purchased for one dollar each. Now, I have already run all of these record albums through the record friend for the cleaning and I also put them all inside plastic sleeves already. But prior to that, each one was a dollar. So they're all in a box. We're gonna randomly pull out some and see what I got for a dollar. Right there, everything, one dollar each. Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with part four of what did I get for a dollar, right? A dollar, let's find out. Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with part five of what did I get for a dollar? That's right, a dollar. So this is the final part uh, this was a special that I did get at a local record store. You were able to fill up the boxes I showed at the begin beginning of the video. And everything in that box would be a dollar. Now the normal price is two dollars because they don't test them, they don't clean them. But I brought them all home, I cleaned every single one of them, put them all in plastic sleeves so that they are all ready to go into my collection. So, this is the last pile that I got for a dollar each. So I'm just Got them stacked here, and we're gonna go down the group with Dolly being the first one. And it says right here, Best Buy series, Heartbreak, uh, Heartbreaker. So this is Dolly. And oh, look at that. Here we go. Oh, turned her upside down on her head. She makes her job heavy. All right, and it has just the list right there. This is one album. And that one album is just on white paper. And actually just realized it's not even inside the white paper. So you get to see the nice shiny album. As I drop it inside the sleeve. So pretty cool to add that one to my collection. Next one is, boom, my mother's favorite singer. This is Jackson Brown, Running On Empty. Pretty awesome. I have seen Jackson a couple times in concert. Remember the first time I seen him, I think I was probably like 13, 14, I don't even know. And the lady wanted to know how I even knew who Jackson was. Hello, my mother's a huge fan. So we got a couple things in here. We have the insert, which does have the lyrics on that. Look at the lyrics to a song called Cocaine. Do you think they'd play that on the radio now? Probably not. I do know that song. The list of the band. And this is coming apart, but it is full of pictures. Again, I got this album for a dollar. So I'm happy that this was even still inside the album. All right, so that's pretty awesome. Put this one back down inside. All right, so the next one is, boom, the Oak Ridge Boys. Step on out. That's pretty cool. Let's see. No lyrics, but we did get another picture inside. And then just some info. But pretty cool to be able to add that one to the collection. All right, next one is, boom. Oh, Kenny Rogers again. Gideon. Cool. Let's see what the inside cover. We got a couple things. We have a picture that came inside and just the white cover. Now again, this was a dollar. So it's kind of amazing when you still find these things inside there. Look at that. Oh, this has even gotten better. So here we go. Nice picture of Kenny Rogers. And when you flip it over, it's lyrics. 
That's right, it's got the lyrics. It's only fitting and proper that it should all end where it started in a dusty West Texas town in the very church where my pa preached for more than 30 years when I was a boy and I couldn't wait to get away from him and this town. That's pretty cool. So pretty awesome that this was still in there. Again, for a dollar, you know, when things like this are still in there, it's pretty amazing. All right, let's go to the next one. And the next one is, boom, Reba. Rumor has it. Pretty awesome to have that one. Just the light cover, so I'm not gonna pull it all out. Still has the plastic on it, so I did not have to re-plastic it. See, when the paper gets old, it gets a little wavy. That's why I try not to pull it out when I don't have to. So that we can keep it inside. All right, let's go to the next one. And the next one is, boom, I can Tina get it together. Bought this because I like Tina Turner. I'm not so much of an Ike fan. Uh, he was kind of an ass. No, no sleeve, but a nice shiny album. Look at that. So pretty awesome to be able to add this to the collection. Tina on front. Ike in the back where he belongs. Pretty awesome. All right, next one. Boom. Oh, the Oak Ridge Boys again. Greatest hits. Pretty nice thick album. And this slides out, as you see, when you put it in and you take it out. So it's just a nice blue cover. And nice shiny album. You see how shiny they are because I just cleaned them with my record friend. Alright, so let me put this one back in here. that one to the collection and the last one that we got for a dollar boom oh <laughs> disco train with donny osmond it's pretty awesome to add that i used to watch the donny and marie show and the osmond show when i was a kid all the time let's see what we got in here nice shiny album no cover but still really happy to add this one from donny and put it into my collection. Boom! All right, so let's review these really quick. And you tell me, do any of these bring back wonderful memories for you? Have you seen any of these people in concert? Do you collect vinyl? So we got Donny Osmond. We got the Oak Ridge Boys. Ike and Tina Turner. Reba McIntyre. Kenny Rogers. The Oak Ridge Boys again. Jackson Brown running on empty. Dolly Parton. So let me know what you think of those albums. Again, leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Stick around. Check out my Patreons. They get something every month if you're interested. All right. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.